around. I'm just going to check this base out here. It's night time, so they shouldn't be able to see me, but I'm um, just going to have a look at the base, see if it's raidable or not. Uh, I'm just sneaking around now, and... Uh, w w Wait, what is that? Oh, poo. Hello, everybody. Red Day here. That's my line. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Rust update. Yes, it is Thursday, which means new stuff for us to take a look at. So without further ado, let's take a look at what fancy things we've been given this week. Don't you just hate it when you can't see that person creeping around outside because it's way too dark? Well, don't worry, because guess what? This brand new searchlight should help you see them. This is something I did not expect to be added to the game, but I gotta say, it is very nice looking and it keeps that rust feel with that use of the barrel, but it's a shame they didn't use the same texture barrels as the one that we can find roaming around outside. To use the searchlight, simply walk up to it, hold E, insert some low grade fuel, then hold E again, turn it on, and press E to move it around. The searchlight will then follow wherever you look, and it can be moved a full 360 degrees. Crafting the searchlight cost a lot more than I thought it would, costing 1000 wood and 500 metal fragments, but hey, at least it doesn't require a metal gear like I thought it would. Now I showed this one off last week, but it's finally been added to the game. The simple handmade sight is a poorly made sight, slightly better than iron sights. And it is very nice. I do like this site, but they have changed it from last week. As you can see here, it looks very different. The first one looks drawn on, and the new one now looks pretty snazzy. But as snazzy as it may be, it's going to run you six high quality metal. And would you just look at how bright that searchlight is? Over to been what's been fixed and changed. The Wood Armor remake has finally been added to the game. Now it actually looks like armor instead of somebody has just duct taped some pieces of wood to your body. Vegetation has had some improvements to hopefully fix some rendering issues. Bloom has also had a few changes. It now looks a lot better and it should also increase some performance. Finally, the view model is at a few improvements, so no matter what FOV settings you use, there should no longer be any clipping. Over to what we could be seeing soon, the new launch site finally has a model and it's looking really nice. I can't wait for this one to be added, hopefully pretty soon. And that is about it for this update. There's been a few performance fixes and bug fixes, but that is literally everything you need to know. And if you are curious to know what those are, I will provide the dev blog and the full change log in the description, so be sure to take a look. Thank you for watching, please do subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and drop a like if you also enjoyed this video. Goodbye everybody, and enjoy flashing people in the face with your new searchlight.